Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, UFO. First of all, thank you very much for all the comments and all the views I got on my latest video, the installation guide on Arch Linux, the 2019 edition. But something I noticed in this video is that uh, everything is pretty clear beside one thing, and uh, the, that thing is the is bootloader configuration part in which I use Vim to run block ID and use the output of block ID inside Vim, but some people there in the comments highlighted me that they don't know what, what I'm doing, like this Jared Freeman, thank you for, for the comment, and in this part of the video I'm, I'm using block ID inside Vim. But let's say that you don't know how to use Vim, right? So you can't, you can't do this little trick I use. Uh, first of all, why, is, uh, why can I use this in Vim? Because Vim itself isn't just a simple text editor. Let's make a short example. Let's say I have Figlet installed, right? So Figlet, Ufoludec, I can print Ufoludec in, in, in this pretty font, right? Let's say I open Vim uh, and I want to do the same inside here, but well, I can do it. I can, I can, uh, I, I can run uh, Figlet Ufoludec inside Vim and print the output inside here. But let's say you don't know how to use Vim, right? You never used Vim, you can't use Vim, Vim is, is bad, Vim is the evil. So let's say this is a fresh installation, let's put it in full screen. You, you're in the part of configuring your bootloader, right? But you don't know how to use Vim and Vim is, uh, is, is, is the evil. You don't use Vim, right? So let's, let's, let's say that you use Nano instead, right? I never used Nano before, so uh, I have to install it. Uh, Nano. Yes, okay. Let's say you're making your configuration files, so nano, arch, or well, let's say it, config.conf, whatever, and there it is, there's your title, the Linux, kernel, blah, 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 blah. But you come to the options part, right? Options, and you need, of course, your root UUID, and you need your UUID. How do you get your UUID inside of nano without using Vim and etc. Well, I the, the easiest part, the easiest way to do it for me using Nano is save this file, so left control and X, yes, to, to, to save the file, and now I save the file. Okay, so if I cut config.conf, there it is, I save the file, and as you can see, the UAD is missing. I will run block ID inside the terminal and put the output inside of config at the end of the file. So, block ID, uh, bigger than, yeah, what's the name of this character? Completely forgot it, bigger than, yeah, uh, greater than, yeah, double greater than, and let's output it to config.conf, right? So now when I open it with nano, config.conf, I have block ID, the output of block ID inside the file, but we just need the UUID. So uh, by reading the small, you know, tips in the bottom of the screen, I more or less can figure out how to use it. So we can go there, and uh, this is the root UUID we need. So just by reading the tips, I see that with Alt and A, so left Alt and A, I can mark text. So Alt A and I'm marking text. Now I want, I want to copy it, so Alt 6, then I go up and paste it with Control U, OK, and now I can delete the rest and I, I oh, cut text, Control K, yeah, Control K, Control K, Control K, Control K, so with Control K I deleted the lines, and before I copied it and pasted the block ID inside the configuration file. So now I can put, just as before, the read write, save the file with control X, yes, 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 and I set up my bootloader, bootloader without using Vim. So yeah, this is a pretty handy trick. Now let's power off the virtual machine, let's go back here. And this is pretty much all I wanted to say in this video, yeah, a very short video, but I hope this video will help some of you that don't know how to use Vim. Uh, when you have time, um, and of course if you want, 
uh, please at, at least try once or twice Vim or try to learn it because Vim is a very nice text editor. I, I've been using it for quite a lot of time already and I think it's uh, it's pretty addictive, especially the bindings and the, the key shortcuts are, uh, they are, are very nice. So yeah, this is all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a nice day. Good luck with the installation and we'll see each other in my next video. Bye bye!